and accurate hits, a column of military vehicles turns into a pile of metal. Because of the hit, the ammunition fires. A very powerful explosion. And we see the entire column of military vehicles destroyed. And here's another video of the destruction of a Russian convoy of vehicles. The convoy of vehicles has no chance of survival from such powerful and accurate hits. No time to run away. And here's another hit on the convoy. The war machines tried to hide in the dense forest, but failed. Followed by ignition and further detonation. Ammunition like lasers going off in different directions. And it was spotted two command posts and a lot of military vehicles. It's one of the most powerful scenes where here's destroy so many military vehicles fire everywhere. Shell detonation, smoke. Hymar spares no one and nothing. They work in tandem with aerial reconnaissance guys who use drones to track down targets and relay the coordinates to the Hymars team, and they strike. Right now you can watch the most accurate flight from HIMARS on the temporary deployment of Russian troops. All personnel that were inside the buildings were neutralized. And these are two M1990 farm self-propelled howitzers hidden along a wooded area. Each costing 1.6 million dollars. And were destroyed first by one high precision strike by HIMARS and then by a second. Accurate destruction of the Russian BM-21 Grad multiple rocket launcher, followed by the triggering of the ammunition. Look at that hit in slow motion. The missile explodes right above the driver's cab. A precision hit. And this video shows the destruction of an enemy BM-21 Grad multiple rocket launcher and ammunition depot in the southern sector of the front line. The Special Operations Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine adjusted their fire on the enemy targets. A reconnaissance drone spotted a $100 million SA-17 Grizzly launcher, and then HIMARS destroys it with a precision strike, Donetsk direction. And another Russian SA-17 was spotted near Antonivka and immediately destroyed with a massive detonation of ammunition. The aerial reconnaissance men, using the EOS UAV, adjust the fire of the HIMARS MLRS. It goes off like New Year's Eve fireworks. This footage shows the first officially confirmed destruction of a $40 million SA-27 Gollum Missile Guidance and Illumination Radar Station. A very rare air defense system ended its war in the Kherson region after a HIMARS strike. An enemy multiple rocket launcher was seen in this video, trying to hide in the trees. As we can see, it failed. Just look at the massive explosion and the hundreds of thousands of pieces of shrapnel.
and this is a self-propelled artillery unit that was camouflaged in the trees. The reconnaissance drone relayed the information for the strike. The artillery unit immediately bursts into flames from a precision hit. And then the ammunition inside is detonated. And these are the twin towers of Donetsk. The scout spotted enemy anti-tank guided missile, antenna and surveillance system, then relayed the information to the operator to strike. In the Zaporizhzhia sector, fighters of the Flying Skull Aerial Reconnaissance Unit discovered a Russian M1987 howitzer that was camouflaged in a forest belt. After receiving the coordinates, our rocket artillery needed only one shot from HIMARS to destroy the enemy gun. Near the town of Bakhmut, the SSO fighters reconnoitered the positions of the 1L219M Artillery Reconnaissance Radar Complex and the Borisoglebsk K2 Electronic Warfare Station. The total value of the destroyed equipment is $210 million. The information received about their location was passed on to the rocket and artillery unit. Thanks to the quick and efficient work, HIMARS missiles destroyed enemy equipment and almost all enemy manpower. Here's another electronic warfare Borsoglebsk managed to spot. Powerful shot and a very nice smoke mushroom. Destruction of a state-of-the-art Russian Yastreb AV counter-battery radar system worth about $250 million in the Kherson region. Most likely, the complex's task was to detect Ukrainian artillery covering the bridgehead in Krinky on the left bank of the occupied part of the Kherson region but the AFU fighters foiled the enemy's plans. This is a shark filming the effective work of HIMARS destroying a Russian BM-21 Grad MLRS near Costa Rizovo, Kherson region. The enemy vehicle was discovered by the 140th Marine Reconnaissance Battalion. The military vehicle was wiped clean by the missile. The video shows a Russian tank T-62M, which stands in the Kapanir. But for Himars, it's not a problem, because it allows you not to miss a meter. The tank crew is as neutralized as the tank itself. The selection is rounded off by the spectacular destruction of a Russian 152mm M19-990 farm in the Avdivka sector by a HIMARS strike.